10,000 years ago, you might have seen this Glacier River Warren Falls in St. Paul, this massive waterfall that would have looked something like Niagara Falls here. And with a million cubic feet of water pounding over it, down into a valley that was 100 feet deeper than it is today. And you might have seen woolly mammoths, you know, walking along the edges of that, of that canyon and that, and that waterfall with American Indians, you know, trying to maybe hunt them down. The incredible volume of water cascading down Glacial River Warren got its start from Glacial Lake Agassiz. This huge lake was formed by melting glaciers at the end of the last ice age. The Glacial River carved a path that you'd recognize today as following the Minnesota River and then the Mississippi downstream from their confluence. It has been a particularly restless waterfall that has migrated upstream because of a geological process you can see at work today. Glacial River Warren flowed over a surface layer of limestone on top of softer sandstone. Powerful recirculating currents at the base of the falls eroded the sandstone faster than the limestone above it. Without the support of the sandstone, great chunks of limestone collapsed into the river below the falls. In geological terms, the falls raced upstream at a breakneck pace. About 11,700 years ago, it was near the site of downtown St. Paul. 2,000 years later, the falls had moved upstream past the confluence of the Mississippi and Minnesota rivers and arrived at the point where Minnehaha Creek joins the Mississippi. The main waterfall continued up the Mississippi as the same process of erosion carved the deep gorge visible today below Minnehaha Falls. A close look behind the veil of water at Minnehaha Falls shows the two layers of bedrock the harder limestone on top and softer sandstone below, which continue to erode each at its own pace. The main waterfall had arrived at the site of what was to become the city of Minneapolis when it was given the name St. Anthony Falls by Father Louis Hennepin in 1680. The falls eventually gave birth to Minneapolis, providing power to the sawmills and grain mills that were the city's first industries. Today, an apron of concrete prevents further erosion of the falls, ending their 15-mile upstream journey a journey that was undertaken at the breathless pace of 6.8 feet per year. <laughs>